Yes, YouTube, it's your boy MZ, and today we're gonna cut out, cut out, cut out. That intro was so bad, I've got to do it again. So, yeah, it's your boy MZ, and if you don't already know, man's a Pokemon enthusiast, add Pokemon Black, Pokemon Let's Go Pikachu, and I played a bit of Pokemon Mega Ruby. And if you don't know, it's okay, but just know that I'm trying to bring some more gaming content into my channel. And if you've got any suggestions on any future videos, please let me know in the description, I mean comments below. Um, and yeah, without further ado, let's get into this video. And thank you for subscribing, you guys are incredible. Okay, let's start this up. If you guys really do like um, like me playing games, like this kind of content, then just let me know in the comments down below because I'll be happy to do, I'll be happy to do more content like this because this is something that's fun for me. But um, Game Freak, oh, that is nostalgia. Pokemon Black scene, Game Freak, oh, that is nostalgia. But hey, I've got a little little webcam here. I've got my little streaming setup. Okay. It is well fat about art here. I am that which humans call Arceus, the creator of all Pokemons, I think. But isn't that Mew? Now I wish to know thine appearance. Um, alrighty, so they've got White Boy, White Boy, Dark Skin Boy. That even, these looks like even. They ain't even mixed or light skin, they're just like dark or white. Ah, oh, they need more skin tones in this, I'll be raw. My guys looking kinda clapped. Um, what are we doing? Cleedo Vids or Imzy? Well most people know me as Imzy, so let me wait shift. We're putting Imzy on this. I've been thinking of changing my channel name, you know. But um a lot of my die-hard fans are saying keep as Cleedo vids, and then a lot of my newer fans are saying, "No, nah, change it to Imzy or Imzy official." More people know know me by that now. Um, soon thou shall fight. Soon thou shall find thyself in a world strange to be. Is this some Shakespearean kind of Pokemon thing? What? A world inhabited by wondrous creatures that human call Pokemon. Bro, this is some some weird shit. Not to complain though. Speak out all Pokemon and thou shalt find me once more. Okay. I know this feels sick. Gee, I got an iPhone. I right, look at that notch, though. Now look like the 13 Pro Max and that. I love that. Or like one of them new Xiaomi's. Arceus. I remember seeing a movie when I was a kid. Nintendo Switch Pro Controller. I know this is sick, what the hell? This is actually cold. A bow, Pokemon Legends Arceus, let's go. I got school tomorrow, so I won't be too long. Okay, wake up. Oh, do you wake up, won't you? So I need in the morning. 
Okay, so we've got Tall Chick. Is that Oshawa? Oh, yeah, live, my boy. By the way, I haven't actually seen any of this game because I don't want any spoilers and I want this reaction to be as authentic as possible. Okay, so we got Oshawa. Yeah, that was called from Pokemon Black. Obviously, my first Pokemon game. We've got... What's that? Cyndaquil. I remember playing that Pokemon Tower Defense. It's quite low-key. Gave me quite a shock falling from the sky like that. But thank goodness you see him unharmed. Nah, forget that. I don't care who you are. Where the... F where the... Uh, where in the Pokemon am I? Why, this is Prelude Beach, of course. Dear me, did the shock of your fall somehow add all your memory? Nah, the graphics needs to be better than this, though. Nah, nah, the graphics needs to be better than this. Look like some washed out game, fam. I must say your clothing is unusual. You don't have to have an acquaintance in these parts, would you? I don't know, like... Uh, probably not. I see, you seem to be in a bit of a pickle. Might offer some directions. Do you have somewhere around here you could stay? I don't know, bro. Bro, I just came into the game. So you don't know anyone here? And you don't even know where to spend the night? Well, this is a proper pickle indeed. Are you quite sure you'll be able to survive? Yes, bro. Empty your pockets, cuz. Empty your pockets, bro. Man will survive. I see. Well, no gentleman would abandon a person in such need. Bro, oh, I know that Pokemon. Um, I don't think I had that Pokemon game. Was that from Pokemon? Was that the Alola region? I think that was the Alola region. Oh my, I completely forgot and I just caught up to one of these free running Pokemon when you tumbled out of the sky. It's almost as if they knew you'd appear here. What are my words to do? Oh, but do you even know what a Pokemon is? Well, of course I do, bro. I had three Pokemon games. I was basically a bang out back in the day. I was. My, that's a relief. Well, you fell from the sky. It seems we have some common ground, eh? Yes, well, these three Pokemon belong to me. Mysterious creatures they are. Oh, yeah, so what might your name be? It's Imzy, cuz. Yeah, good Imzy. Cried the ring to it. I must have some lovely meaning. Oh, but I do apologise. I haven't even introduced myself. Uh, my name is Laventon. I'm something of a Pokemon professor. Laventon. Lebutons. That is to say, I'm a scholar seeking to deepen understanding with a Pokemon. Yes, Pokemon see such free. Oh, blast and bother. My darling Pokemon. Why must you run from me again? I'm terribly sorry. But do you think you can help me round them up? I beg you. Wait, you free? Wait! I know, this is sick. Are you mad? Oh, this don't look like a solid... I was saying 6 FPS, though. No, this is sick. Alright. No, if this was on PS4 or PS5, bro, the graphics would be way better. Are you mad with Dash? If I hold it. No, this is cold. What the hell? Bro, it's like 3D open mode and that. That is sick, fam. There's a glowing beeping object over there. Yeah, Nintendo will just make it look good somehow on their weak ass Nintendo Switch Wii U consoles. You found something that resembles a phone. It's probably your phone, but it's changed shape. You feel a strange power emanating from it. A message appeared on the screen. I bestow upon V this arc phone and by mission, seek out all Pokemon. Bro. So you just slapped a case on that or something, bro. That is a normal ass phone. Take off the case, cuz. But what's the guy keep stopping? Sir. Oh, alas. Yet another miss. Aha! I'm glad you've come to my rescue. My new friend from the sky. I tried catching my little runaways by. Dosing some Pokeball is their way, but I'm not the best at this sort of thing, you see. I'd love to give you a go at it, but perhaps I should tell you a bit about these three first. Now, that one is Rowlet. 
Violet can photosynthesize like a plant and apparently it battles using its sharp feathers. Kuru! So where does our looking Pokemon? That one over there is Cyndaquil. The fire burning on Cyndaquil is back with flare. Up whenever it's, it's surprised or if it's. Foom! Ashawa! The Pokemon in the pond is Ashawa. Ashawa snaps while floating on the water. And it can battle using a shell like object on its belly. Bleach Splash! Oh my! I nearly forgot to for cover the most crucial thing. How to go about catching Pokemon. Here you are, my boy. Pokey boys. Throw these at Pokemon to catch them. That's some dusty ass Pokeball, fam. That is old, bro. A mysterious ball that can be thrown at wild Pokemon in order to catch them. These balls can be crafted by hand if gathered for necessary materials. Ah, uh, but that won't do for an explanation, will it? But I do apologize. Let me be more thorough. Now, I've mentioned already that Pokemon are strange, marvelous creatures. What's so strange about them, you ask? Well, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink. I can't lie, I, I don't know why I'm doing that accent. Like, each and every Pokemon is able to shrink itself down to minuscule size. And that's where Pokeballs come in. Pokeballs are a recent intervention, you see, or invention, you see. Throw one of them at a Pokemon, and why? If a Pokemon will shrink down and fit inside of a ball, comfy as can be. And with that, you've caught a Pokemon. I know we've just met, but I'm afraid I've no one else to turn to. I'd be awfully grateful if you could catch my three runaways. Now, if a proper technique is to take aim at a Pokemon, then let the ball fly is quite simple. Though far be it from me to say so, I suppose. i given my own dire lack of skill in this area. I don't want Oshawa right now. I want Cyndaquil, fam. But where's Cyndaquil? I don't want Oshawa, bro. No, if no, I don't want you, bro. I'll catch you later. Oh wait, do I run in? I got it. Oh, why are you running? Why are you running? This guy, he's clueless, bro. He doesn't know where he's going. Look at this guy. No, this experience is different, bro. No, where's Cyndaquil, fam? Oshawa, you're running the, the wrong way. I'm not even trying to catch you right now. That's all I want, Cyndaquil. Oh, there you are. Okay. Headshot. Hey, Headshot. <laughs> Boom! Ah, uh, you're caught, G. You're not getting out, bruv. Come here. Come here. Yeah, beautiful. Oh, wonderful! You've caught a Pokemon! It seems you've got quite a knack for this Pokemon catching business, Simsy. Jolly useful skill to have around it. Only two of my darling runaways left now. Still, this is most unusual. You don't seem fearful of Pokemon in the slightest. Why are you scared of Pokemon, bro? Just punch them up or something. I'm playing, I'm playing. And I'll. Uh, Bro, don't run. Don't run or I headshot you, bro. Like I done Cyndaquil. Your boy. Come here. Come here. You're getting headshotted still. If you try to run, I'll just... Yeah. I can hardly believe it, MZ. Incredible. You know, many people fear to even approach Pokemon. Never mind catch them. Bravo indeed. Just one more to go. Let's wrap up this, this up sharpest, shall we? I didn't want all three at first. Bro, I should have just played another Pokemon game. But this kind of sick, Darby Raw. I'll show what's in the water. Some silly ass Pokemon. But why are you running? Oh, yes, I'm afraid that can happen. Pokeballs are hardly 100% foolproof. Give another go, old boy. Bro, that's rigged. That is so rigged. I headshot him. But we run again? Oh, the way I headshot you is different. Look, I scared him to flip in, to freeze, bro. No, I'm stepping on that Pokemon. You're not, you're not getting up. Yes.
that Pokemon music slaps different, I can't lie. Thank you very much indeed. Oh, what a relief to have them all back. You see, the three Pokemon you caught up only just arrived at the village to help with our research. They won't yet listen to anyone. As I mentioned, they bought from the village almost as if you knew, as if they knew you'd come for them. But I must say, MZ, I was taken aback by how well you use Pokeballs. How is it that you catch Pokemon so oddly when you've only just arrived there? One can't help but I think there's a reason you appeared to her now. Seek out all Pokemon. That object is an arc phone, you see. One odd device, could it be guiding you somehow? If you indulge me for a moment, there's something I'd like to share with you. You see, I have a dream to compile this region's first complete record of its Pokemon. We in the field call such a catalogue of Pokédex. Yes, a proper Pokédex, a wonderful work of research containing the details of blah 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 found in the region. But a blah 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 blah, you must catch them. And therefore lies the rub, I'm afraid. Pokeballs have only just been invented and have not and not many have mastered the skill of using them. Enter you, a person with a clear talent for catching Pokemon. Your goal is to seek out every Pokemon and minus have all those Pokemon caught. A situation right for teamwork, don't you agree? Come on now, what do you say? Shall we help one one another out, my boy? Well, I'm not really your boy. I, I don't know. Uh, just, you're claiming, I don't even know you, bro. Laventon, I don't know you. My boy, bro. Oh, he's not going to leave me alone until I say yes, isn't it? Right, you've convinced me, fam. Forced me to say yes. Then uh, whoever and from wherever you may be, I welcome you with open arms. We are a Pokédex to you complete. First things first, let's get these Pokémon back to the village. Then we'll sort out your lodgings and find you some proper clothes and more and all that. Follow me then, onward to Jubilife Village. To me, that walk look less fake. I can't lie. Them sounds as well. What well, was that pool in the sky, fam? No, the way they walk is so fake, bro. Look at how their hands move, bro. I can't lie. It's a big step up for Pokemon. We've never had a game like this, to the best of my knowledge. Bro, you know, I can't, if you lot are in the stream up until this point, wait, one sec. We where that come from? Man's from, can't bait that out on stream. Well, I'm from London, innit? I since you know so little of a local Pokemon, please hesitate to set foot outside the village. What man of dress is that? What are you talking about, old man? Oh, yeah, yeah, about coming this Keep walking, change. All right, bro. You keep it stepping, bro. Say that again if you're bad. Yeah, scaredy cat. Bro, say that again if you're bad, bro. Some old man, fam. Exactly. Stop. me what? Yeah, okay. Bro, hurry up, professor. Do you know the prof Bro, they're all G checking me, bro. Bro, what do you mean who's that? Bro, who are you, bro? There's G checking me in this thing. Oh, botheration, I'd almost forgotten. I need to go and report that we successfully recovered the escaped Pokemon. Might I ask why you wait for me at the canteen? It's just past this bridge here, and to their left for Wallflower, it's called. A uh, man's doing up 10 tours. Your arc phone is beeping. Somehow it seems to show you where to go next. Alright. I see guidance markers, whatever. Like, right. yeah, cool. Let me see these arrow keys. I can save my progress. All 
Oh, look, they just spoiled it for me. Just said ride Pokemon on the controls. That means I'll be able to ride the Pokemon. Camera sensitivity. Let's go to full motion sensitivity. The motion sensor sense to be. I don't really care. Or save enabled or disabled. I mean, I don't know. Maybe I should disable it just in case, like, I don't catch a Pokemon. Or there's a shiny Pokemon or something. But I'll leave it or on for now. Pokemon cries. Dynamic range. Let's go wide. I got decent speakers, I think. Let's go wide. I like wide. We're trying to get as immersed in this as possible. Where am I going though? Run! Press the minus if I can. Alright, so. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? Let me put this MacBook in the charge. Ours on ten percent. It's crazy slow on the charge. Ah. Okay, we're good now. Well now, aren't you awfully suspicious? For all flowers for Galaxy Team Falcone, we don't have seats for outsiders. Move along. What do you mean, bro? What do you mean? Are you call an outsider, bro? Ski, come on now. I might tell one of you. Who are you? I've never seen anyone dressed like who you are. What if you're attacked by a Pokemon? You'd be meant to meet in those flimsy clothes. Alright, cool. So I'm just turning off this big ring light because I'm trying to be immersed into this. It's too bright as well. You are meant to meet in those flimsy clothes. If a guard let you through, though, you must have ties of somebody in the village. Perhaps you met Professor Laventon. He's a scholar from a faraway place. His Pokemon do get away from at times, though. Makes me a bit worried for him. I suppose I'm hardly one to talk. I've had some trouble with Pokemon myself. I was hit by a Pokemon move called Thundershock not long ago and had to take my bed. That's Pikachu, hint. But for Professor, well, I do wonder how long he'll last. I want Pikachu. Unfortunately, just as Akari says, I'm a clumsy sort of fellow to put him out of Professor! Bro, this guy creepy, bro. He just teleported and that. But everything will be quite all right now. MZA has agreed to help us with the Pokedex. Ah, uh, bro, that could be my bay. That's my Pokemon bay, you know. Ah, uh, excuse me. You plan to put him to the survey corpse? You can't slap a badge on whoever you like without Captain Sally and Cillian's permission. I will allow it. Captain Cillian? Assuming the individual can contribute to the survey corpse, that is. I'm the captain of the Galaxy Team Survey Corps. You may call me Silene the Clapped. Right, Silene the Clapped. Clapped Silene, that's your nickname. Professor Laventon, Laventon Laboutins, has told me that you help secure his Pokemon may slip his control. Now it seems like he would like us to feed and house you in exchange for your ongoing labour. What do you mean labour? Hmm, you just be 15 or so. Why's that my young G, bro? Do you know, I'm not come, at least like, like 16 or 17, come on now. Quite old enough to work for your keep, but you can't simply take on a stranger who wanders in Among Us. Aye, what do you know about that? What do you know about Among Us? Died off, fell off, but it was a good game while it lasted. Without any idea of their skills or origins. Tomorrow we shall see if you can prove yourself worthy. Oh ho, a most reasonable decision, Captain. Now, would you care to join us for a meal? I'm sure you've got plenty of questions for our visitor. That's quite alright. I prefer to eat alone, so I might appreciate my visual distraction. I need to have like a dedicated voice for each one of these characters. Aloof, as always, I see. Well, no matter. The rest of us can share with me on some pleasant conversation then, eh? Benny, old chum, for usual potato mochi, if you please. But make it for free today. Laventon. 
Wonderful stuff, Benny. Much obliged. Your potatoes are much you never fail to please. Professor Laventon, where exactly did you meet our visitor here? Ah, well, you know about a great hole in the sky? For one people called the Space Time Rift, our new friend fell right out of it. You can't be serious. I am. Come now, I'm a scientist. My job is to observe and explain and all, any and all phenomena. I concern myself only with facts. Now, you already know that there are many Pokemon here in the Hisaway region. That there are in the grass and forest by water or wherever they like. Our job as a survey corps is to research them and find out what kind of creatures they are. Well, we know this much. Pokemon are terrifying creatures. It's all but impossible to know what kinds of powers we might possess or what sorts of wondrous things they can do. But that's where MZ will come in. MZ! He successfully caught three Pokemon. Three of them in quick order, you understand? No being in the Galaxy team is capable of a feat such as that. Ah, I can't lie, the Galaxy team is dead, bro. But man caught all of them in like, like a minute, bro. Apart from Oshawa, yeah, that one, that guy gave me a bit of trouble, yeah, but that was easy as hell. But yeah, this means we can finally begin our Pokemon research in earnest. Three? We've had hard enough time catching even one when our Pokemon come after us. Ah, oh, well, to be perfectly fair, the Pokemon that fled to the beach weren't on the attack, but the key to catch a Pokemon is getting close enough to aim your Pokeball well, and it seems our new friend is fearless enough just to do, do, do just that. Does the survey courts really have a leeway to be enjoying allegedly mill this outsider? Yo, Captain just ordered 10 whole portions of potato match here, you know. The slow progress on the Pokedex of yours clearly has a run edge. I'm sure we'll start to ruin a good captain stress eating soon enough. Now have your fill, MZ. And think, if you made it into the galaxy team, you'll never have to worry about the meal again. The team provides for all its members' needs, even if said members fell out of the sky. Yeah. Uh, if if this video gets like, uh, I can't learn. I don't even care. I actually like this kind of this kind of content. Like, I enjoy it. So yeah, um, I'd appreciate it if you guys could leave a like on the video. You know, subscribe to the channel and that. Would appreciate that a lot. And comment, comment, Pokemon Black if you came to this point in the video yes the food was lovely but more importantly you do remember that mz has a trial to pass during the survey corpse don't you not to worry i have complete confidence in mz's skills must be an easy ass challenge easy ass trial let's hope it's not misplaced mz was it for tonight at least we'll provide you a place to sleep you may use our quarters there But if you fail to pass a trial, we'll put it to you tomorrow. You must move on. You'll be expelled from the village to meet your fate and perhaps your death in the wilds. Captain Silly, somewhat like history. In fact, we, in fact, they're both quite harsh. Now, now, she simply puts on the stern front to help keep us all safe. At any rate, I think it's time to tune in for the night. Hey, it's a good thing can't fall out of the few times we sleep in her. I imagine our new friend has had enough filing for one day. And with that, I bid you both good night. Yes, good night. The rift in the sky, people falling from it, a world is full of mysteries. And now, yeah, we're approaching the half an hour mark. So that's it for the first episode of this. If you can get this video to like 100 likes or something, then I'll consider putting more content out like this in the future. Maybe make a little series. This is episode one so far. But um, yeah, leave a like, subscribe to the channel, and peace. I love you guys. Oh,